student today we are going to see how to run 8085 programs in our mobile application first of all we are going to see the programs in this first program is of our uh, how to write a program to add between two 8-bit hexadecimal numbers are stored in c0 30H and C031H store the result in C030. Now these programs are run in some, uh, simulator. In a mobile application, we are going to see some uh, um, simulator that we can run our programs. Okay. First of all, open the Play Store. Okay. Open the Play Store and type here Neutrino. Neutrino and use this application this is the application and open this application the link will i will send you in our group okay now open this application here this is the interface of the application here from 0 to f these are the hexadecimal numbers that we have to input uh, during the execution of the program now this is the res that is the reset this is the go function. This is the set to set the memory location. This is the execute button. This is the increment, decrement and the steps. Okay. Here you will get the registers that the, all the register information you will get from this uh, tab. Okay. First we are going to see about the edit option. Okay. Now we how to run the uh, how to run this application we are going to see. First of all, use the reset key to reset our program. Okay, reset the uh, emulator. Okay, or the simulator. Here, first of all, we are going to see about the uh, how this application is to be running. Okay, now, uh, first of all, we are going to see the program, the starting address that is your C00. We have to use or enter this starting address and we have to see the hexadecimal codes. Okay, now first of all, for the starting address of the program is C00. Okay, now we have to enter this C00 in this memory address. This is the read where we have to enter the uh, memory location. So, first of all, click on set button and enter C000. Okay, now this is your memory address. Now we have to enter here the hexadecimal code now hexadecimal code entered in this is 21 okay now we have to enter this uh, one by one okay now enter this 21 sorry reset again set c000 and click on next button uh, or increment button we can say it as an increment button click on increment here you have to enter your hexadecimal codes. The hexadecimal code is first, first is to 21. Okay, sorry, 2121. Then click on next button or increment. Then here 201 will be automatically incremented. Again, you have to enter the next code that is your 30. Okay, again increment. Now next code that is your C0, C0 again increment, again next is the 7E, 7E, next that is increment, next is 23, that is 2, 3, again increment, again 86, that is your 8, 6, again increment. Again 32 that is the 3 2 3 and 2 again increment next again 3 2 okay again increment next C0 that is your C0 and increment and last location is uh, last hexa code is the 76 this is your last all the hexa codes we have to enter and last that is your 76 and then click on the increment this is your last now we have entered our all the uh, hexa codes of the program in that particular memory address now 
we have entered now we have to enter the before execution data now this is your before execution data and the result will become on c032 okay that is the after execution now how to enter this now we have entered our program now reset it okay again set the memory location that is your c030 c030 so c030 this is your before execution first data then click on increment next enter the data that is my 06 okay this is the data again second data is your 07 okay again now next before execution on 32 there will be the result so 00 and click on increment okay now we have entered your before execution data also now we have to run our program so what we have to do reset it okay now go now where to go where is our program that is on your c000 this location and click on execute go starting program and then execute okay now this is your successful now we have successfully run our program okay now we have to see our answers okay now answer is on c032 that is your 0d so check the result so we have to first go to that memory location so again reset set c032 and click on increment okay now the answer is 0d okay this is your 0d okay this is the d this is not the 0 this is the d okay now here if you want to see your result okay now so you have to see the register or we can see this uh, like this general register we have to check these results and again the flag register status so that status you can see here by clicking on registers now here the a is uh, in accumulator a there is 0d on b 00 c 00 d 00 e 00 h that is c 0 and l will be the 3 1 okay the answer is 0 d this is 0 and this is the d okay so see carefully okay now this is your sign flag uh, sorry flag status that is 0 0 0 0 in this way we have to execute our program in this emulator okay thank you